Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this voice assistant tutorial, what we're going to be doing is using the voice assistant to actually open up applications for us and to take notes. So what I want to do in this one is show you guys how we can actually open an application from Python. And what I mean by that is like launch a web browser or launch in this case, actually notepad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a note into a notepad based on what we say to the voice assistant, then it's going to open up that note for us on the computer. I think this is kind of useful and it should hopefully show you a few kind of things that you can do and then you guys can tweak it and mess with it to make it uh, what you guys want for your voice assistant. So what I'm going to do to start actually, sorry, let's go back up to the top here is import sub process. Now what this is going to do is just allow us to actually open well a sub process, which is going to be notepad um, and show that on the screen. Now I'm also going to create a function here, which is going to be called note. And what this is going to do is exactly what it says. It's just going to take a note for us. So we're going to take some kind of text and that's going to be the actual note that we're going to write into a notepad. So what I'm going to start by doing is creating um, like we need to create a notepad file so that we can actually open it. So what I need to do is figure out what kind of name I should make this. So we're going to save it in the same directory as our voice assistant. But what makes sense to name this file? I can't really just choose like a static name like note or like my note, because then if we have more than one note that we make, it'll override the last note. So what I'm going to do actually is say date equals date time dot date time dot now, which is going to give me the date and time at the current moment. So what I'm going to do is save a file as like date, like whatever the date and the time is dot note or like dot txt um, so that we can have as many files as we want and they'll all be organized by the date that they were created. Now I'm going to create a new thing here, a new variable called file name, which is going to be equal to the string date dot replace in this case colon with a hyphen plus I'm going to say hyphen note dot txt. So what this is going to do is define that our file name is going to be equal to whatever this date is, which is going to be like 2019 08 seven at like 345 PM, whatever it is. But what I'm going to do is replace all of the colons that are in there with hyphens. And that's just because we can't save a file name with colons and we'll run into errors if we try to do that. And then I'm going to add a hyphen note.txt at the end of that. So we know that this is a note and it is a txt file. So now what I'm going to do is say with open in here, file underscore name W, which stands for write mode or create a new file if it doesn't already exist as F, I'm going to F dot write whatever that text is that we passed in. Okay, so that's uh, pretty straightforward. And then what I'm going to do is say sub process dot P open and make sure you do a capital there. And in here, I'm going to put square brackets for a list. I'm going to put the name of uh, the file I'm going to open this in. So notepad dot exe. And then I'm going to put file underscore name. So what this actually means is open the file name in notepad dot exe. A notepad.exe comes with all Windows installations. So you don't need to download this. And to use another program, what you need to do is in here specify the path to that program um, and the .exe file. So say you want to open it in like sublime text. Well, you need to find where that is. So I would get open file location here. It shows me this is the shortcut for sublime text three. So if I wanted to open in sublime text three, well, now I, I need to figure out where this is. So I go open file location. This is the .exe, so I can copy this directory, um, which is right here. So up at the top, if I could get that, and then do slash subline text.exe, and then it would open in that. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to say sublime, and I'm going to try to do it in this one as well, just to show you how this works. So then we do another slash, and that's going to be subline underscore text.exe, and we need to put this in brackets. So I'll try to open in both of them and show you guys actually how this works. So before I actually, you know, like call this properly and write some more code down here, let's make sure that this is working. I'm just going to comment out all of this here. And what I'm going to do is just call this function. So I'm going to say note uh, and then we'll put tech with Tim is the best. OK, so let's run this. And there we go. When we do that, we actually see that a notepad pops up that says tech with Tim is the best. And it, you can see the name of it. I mean, it's kind of small on my screen is 2019-09-14 and then 14-27-41. Uh, so it's pretty much just li listing the time here. Hyphen note uh, dot txt is the name of that note. So I know it's long. You guys can change that if you want. And then you can see that it's saved inside of here uh, in our voice assistant directory. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's try this with subline. I'm not really confident that this is going to work, but we'll see. 
run. Oh, and there we go. Tech with Tim is the best. And that opened it in subline text for us. So again, the way I did that was just find the exe for subline text. I put that as the first um, thing. So the exact path to it. And then the file that I wanted to open, which was notepad. And conveniently, this worked for us. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I didn't think that would work. But anyways, there we go. We got that. So that does work. Awesome. So I'm going to get rid of subline because I actually do want this to open in notepad.exe. Um, so it'll work on any computer that does have windows on it. And now that we've done that, we need a good way to actually call this function, just like what we've done down here. Uh, when we check, you know, if we're going to actually tell us about our calendar or not. So essentially, what do we need to say to our voice assistant for it to make a note for us? Well, I'm going to make some kind of phrases that I would maybe want to say for it to make a note. So I'd say like, make a note. That's probably something that we're going to want to make a note with. We say that. Um, maybe write this down. Um, down. We could do remember this like that. And I mean, I'm sure you could add some more, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And you guys can mess with that. And what I'm actually going to do is just copy this. Actually, I won't copy it. I'll just type it out. I'll say four phrase in note underscore strings. If phrase in text. And what I'm actually going to do is just make a quick change here. I'm going to get rid of this dot lower here and just add it at the end of get audio just so that saves us a bit of time here. And then what I'll do is if phrase in text, what I'm going to do is ask the user to um, tell me what they want to write down. So essentially, like maybe you go like, hey, Siri, or like whatever your voice assistant is, make a note. So if you say make a note, then what it's going to say back is what do you want me to write down or what do you want me to make a note of? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say speak. What would you like me to write down question mark? Then what I'm going to do is get the audio from this. So we'll say like, I don't know, note equals get underscore audio. And we'll put that actually, yeah, I guess we'll put that in dot lower as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass that to this note function. So we'll say note um, and then we'll pass note like that. Or actually, I don't think I can name this note. Let's just name it like note underscore text. So we don't run into any issues. So we'll say note, note underscore text. And then we will speak. I've made a note of that. Awesome. So that is all we kind of need to do, actually, I think, for this to work. So now, in theory, we should be able to speak to our voice assistant, ask it to make a note. It'll tell it, ask us what we want to make a note of. It will listen for us to say something. Then it will make a note of that, open up the notepad window, and then tell us that we've made a note of it. So let's try this. Um, make a note. What would you like me to write down? Tim is the best. I've made a note of that. And there we go. Tim is the best. So that actually worked fairly well and fairly quickly. Um, and there we go. So now we have these notepad files up here. Uh, we've written or wrote down Tim is the best and that worked for us. Now, I hope you guys are able to actually hear this audio. I'll try one more example now with like write this down. Write this down. What, what would you like me to write down? This voice assistant tutorial is cool. I've made a note of that. And there we go. This voice assistant tutorial is cool and it's made a note. So that is kind of all it is to making notes. I mean, we might want to clean this up by adding a notes directory in here and saving all the files in there. But that is again, I mean, how you write a note, um, how you get it to open up the notepad for you, which we've been doing each time and how we can check to make sure we're saying the correct thing when we do that. And I'll show you this is still working. What do I have on Wednesday? You have, you have three, three events on this day. day. CDG 2136 lecture at 8.30 a.m. 2105 lecture at 1 p.m. CSI 2110 tutorial at 2 p.m. And we can see that that is now still working. So depending on what we say, we get different responses from our assistant. And we're making our way towards a very smart, cool voice assistant. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video here. As always, leave a comment down below with stuff you want to see for the rest of this voice assistant tutorial series. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next